Bridging Nature, the Magic of Wildlife Crossings. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're exploring a truly innovative concept that not only speaks volumes about human ingenuity but also about our commitment to preserving nature. We're talking about wildlife crossings. These structures are a testament to how language encapsulates modern solutions to age-old problems, how we coexist with the natural world around us. So, let's embark on this journey together and understand what wildlife crossings are and why they're so important. At its core, the term, wildlife crossings, refers to man-made structures designed to enable animals to cross human-made barriers safely. These barriers could be anything from roads, railways, to canals that intersect their natural habitat. Wildlife crossings come in various forms, including bridges over roads, often referred to as ecoducts, or green bridges, tunnels, underpasses, and even overpasses specifically designed for animal use. They are meticulously planned to blend with the natural environment, helping to maintain ecosystem connectivity and prevent habitat fragmentation. Why do we need these crossings? The answer lies in the protection of biodiversity and prevention of wildlife vehicle collisions. As human infrastructure expands, it increasingly encroaches on the natural habitats of various species, leading to fragmented ecosystems. This not only endangers wildlife but also disrupts ecological balance. Wildlife crossings play a crucial role in mitigating these effects by providing safe passage for animals, thus reducing the risk of accidents and ensuring the free movement of species across their habitats. This is vital for their survival, reproduction, and the overall health of ecosystems. Globally, many countries have implemented wildlife crossings with great success. For instance, in Canada, Banff National Park is home to a network of overpasses and underpasses that facilitate the movement of large mammals like elk, wolves, and bears. Similarly, in the Netherlands, ecoducts are a common sight, ensuring the safe passage of badgers, deer, and other wildlife. These examples highlight the global commitment to conservation efforts and illustrate how diverse ecosystems can thrive alongside human development. In conclusion, wildlife crossings are a brilliant example of how language captures the essence of human innovation and conservation. They represent a bridge between the human and natural worlds, ensuring that as we build and expand, we do not forget the creatures with whom we share this planet. We hope this video has shed light on the importance of these structures and inspired you to appreciate the efforts made towards preserving our planet's biodiversity. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating topics with you in the future. Stay curious, and keep learning!